How does a proper skeptic view the outcomes of these contradictory studies? Simple, with an open mind and a rational estimate of risks. We don't have to cast our vote for guilty or not guilty before the trial is finished. Like good jurors, we can wait until all the evidence is in. That's what rational skepticism is all about, withholding judgment until sufficient evidence is presented to accept or reject a given hypothesis. We understand this when we're in the jury box, but forget it the moment we step out of the courtroom. It's more than a coincidence that so many scientists are skeptics and rationalists. The process becomes a way of life, a way of thinking, and a way of viewing the world. Turning those gears off on the weekends is just something some of us can't do. We care about what's true, and we know a reliable process for determining this. Thanks for watching.